السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello for all Emergency management is an important task in all nursing practice Few minutes before doctor arrive may save lives Today we will show for you the ideal steps in managing hypovolemic shock due to blood loss from cut wound We hope you will benefit from this video and special thanks for all who participate Thank you very much Fatma is bleeding. Sister, sister, come emergency. Fatma, Fatma, she is not responding. Sinsa, take care of legs, transfer her to bed. Take care. Fatma, Fatma. She is not breathing. Smida, you bring Abu back, inform doctor. You apply pressure bandage, I will do CPR. If the person is neither breathing nor responding to calls, start chest compression. For that, place the heel of one hand over the center of the person's chest, the lower half of sternum. Place the other hand on the top of the first hand and lace your fingers together. Keep your elbows straight and your fingers up off the chest. Position your shoulders directly above your hands. When you give compression, push the chest down at least 2 inches and allow little time for the chest to come back up. Push hard at a set of about 100 compressions a minute. After 30 compressions, open the person's airway using head tilt and chin lift maneuver. Give 2 rescue breaths lasting 2 seconds and watch for the chest to rise. 30 chest compressions followed by 2 rescue breath is considered as one cycle. After 5 cycles of compression and ventilation, check the breathing and corroded pulse. If there is no breathing and pulse, continue CPR till medical help is available. There is pulse, she is responding. Smita, you elevate the foot end and cover the patient. Elevating legs above the level of heart will increase cardiac output and improve hypoxia. Keep the patient warm to avoid hypothermia as it inhibits the enzyme responsible for blood coagulation. Smida, you start IV fluids, I will start oxygen. Initial stage, we use isotonic crystalloid IV fluids. It is important to warm the IV fluids to body temperature before administering. Oxygen therapy to increase SpO2. What happened to the patient? She is Fatma, 40 years old, noticed her with cut wound on her leg and was bleeding profusely. She was not responding. CPR given. The wound was about 4 cm length and we applied pressure bandage. Now she is awake. Bleeding is under control. Oxygen and IV is on flow. Now she is on cardiac monitoring. Assessment of individual response shows BP increasing. Level of consciousness improving, SpO2 improving, urine output within limits, normal heart rate and IV on flow.